Hello everybody, um, my name is Joel. Uh, I own Bringineer Cycles, and if you've checked out any of our prior videos on the channel, um, you would see me tinker on bikes, mountain biking with buddies, etc. And I realized that I haven't fully introduced myself or the shop and what we do, so I thought I would do that here quick. Um, as I said, my name is Joel. Uh, I started Gringineer Cycles in December of 2017 um, in a little bit different uh, fact. It, it was different back then than it is now. We have, I have been, the company's evolved over time. Um, it started with me selling uh, a lot of ex-pro road team bikes and inventory um, for teams at the end of the year when they get new inventory. Um, and I, I still do a little bit of that for um, one team in particular, um, Rally, who is now Human Power Health. I help them sell some of their inventory at the end of the season. But I, I kind of drifted away from that. Um, just because I personally am not a, a road a roadie, and so my passion in cycling and what I was selling were were two different things, and it was the job was a little bit less fun. So I decided probably spring of twenty nineteen is when the, I really made the shift to selling vintage mountain and road, um, 80s and 90s era, um, especially. Uh, so you'll see, you know, our content is heavily skewed to, to vintage mountain bikes because that is, that's my passion. Um, you know, behind me is my collection, um, uh, most of my collection, some are displayed at the shop. Um, and actually I got some, some new ones. Here's one of them, I'll give a, um, quick sneak peek and then we'll uh, uh, talk more about that here at the end but it's a, a Kurt Precision Revolution so it's it's super sweet. So my passion is for vintage mountain bikes and how that passion started um, is I was working at a, a bike shop in Minnesota here and they had I was looking for just kind of like a beater bike um, and they had taken it on trade a Trek 950, um, the purple and green one that is hanging in my office that I've showed in the um, bike collection video. Um, and I bought it, I think for like $60, what is what we had given it as the trade-in value, to just be like my, you know, urban assault beater bike. But then I really just started it. When I first had it, I, that's what I did it for. But then I really got into the anodized parts and I like kept adding things to it and it got to where it is now where, you know, it's completely decked out with purple anno. Um, and that was really the start of, of my passion for vintage mountain bikes, which, and then it went to the, I picked up a Raleigh Peak, Technium Peak, the blue tube bike, which you also see in the, the bike collection video. That was my second um, bike. I now actually have two of them. Um, I have mine that is again, it's decked out with a lot of blue anno. And then I have a second one that I want to restore to original. Um, I, I really, blue is my favorite color. I also like the, the Technium with the anodized um, tubes. Um, so buying and selling vintage mountain bikes and parts of vintage road bikes, it, it because I enjoy vintage mountain bikes, it makes work fun because I am out hunting for things that I enjoy and I love talking to other people who are, enjoy vintage mountain bikes and vintage road bikes, uh, vintage bikes really in general. I'm big into clunkers and you know I don't know too much about like the complete restorations of like balloon tire bikes or BMX bikes, but we're getting more into that at the shop. Um, we just restored a gentleman's 64 Schwinn Stingray and we are working on a, 
a Schwinn, a, a Super Latour, um, one of the Japanese made ones. It's actually a very nice bike. We're restoring that for a customer. So we're, that is via my brick and mortar shop slash Grenadier Cycles. They, we operate out of the same building. The brick and mortar shop is called Copper County Cycles. If you ever want to stop in, we're in Watertown, Minnesota, um, just west of the Twin Cities. But so my passion for vintage metal bikes has continued to grow and my passion for finding and helping people complete their projects. I enjoy that. I love the, the finding of the parts or the bikes and then the getting those parts and bikes into hands of, you know, fellow bike nerds, vintage collectors like all of y'all who, you know, need something to complete their project or are looking for their next project or that, that part you've been dreaming about that you can't find it. You know, we love helping with that. And we've also, I've also um, been tracking down, you know, hard to find catalogs. And I've been slow at getting them up on the blog because there's just so many moving pieces, but we have a, a bunch of catalogs, more Bianchi catalogs. And I just bought a bunch of catalogs, eight, well, 10 catalogs um, that are not, that I couldn't find anywhere else online. So we we're gonna get those up on the blog. Um, there's some two more Dean catalogs to go with the 97 we already had. There's um, KHS, just a, a kind of a gamut of brands, but all catalogs that are either not online or at least I was not able to find um, online. And we wanna get those up so those resources are available um, for everybody. So if you're on our shop, Grinchier.com, you'll see that we have a, a ton of inventory. Um, we try to add to it weekly, if not daily, during the weekdays. Um, in the summer, it's busy because we're also, you know, a full-blown retail bike shop dealing with, you know, tons of repairs and sales that just happen with the bike shop, especially in the summer up here in Minnesota. Reach out to us if you're ever looking for something. We have a lot of inventory that is not yet listed um, that is waiting in the wings, um, that we're trying to get this list as fast as we can, but obviously, uh, we're busy and we're, we also want to try to ride and have as much fun as we can, uh, um, doing other things during the summer also. I don't want to bore you too long with just me talking, but I wanted to give an introduction, uh, about myself and the shop. As I said, we specialize in 80s and 90s mountain bikes and road bikes. We um, try to update the shop with new inventory as much as possible. You will see us out at bike swaps. We love going to bike swaps. You know, we've gone to Madison multiple years in a row. We're looking forward to going to the Velo Swap this fall uh, in Denver. Um, Chicago Swap, we're hoping to be there this winter. Um, so yeah, come up and chat. You know, we love meeting other new people um, that are into the, the same thing we are. Um, we have a lot of videos planned and coming in the process of being filmed. We're whole, new to this whole YouTube thing, um, but I'm having a lot of fun doing it. But we have a long list of videos. We'd also love for you, if you have any ideas for videos or anything you'd like to to see, or if you have any questions for us, you know, put that in the comments. We would love to make content, um, if we can, that, you know, y'all would like, we, we love to make content that y'all would like to see. Um, so any suggestions, put it in the comments, um, or reach out to us, um, or stop into the shop if you're local or if you're visiting. We, again, love hanging out with other um, vintage bike nuts. Um, that's all I really have to say uh, in the introduction. Let me give you a quick tour of the new bike in the collection. And then, uh, you know, uh, like and subscribe and we will have a ton more content uh, coming this fall and winter. We're hoping to do at least three videos a month, if not one once a week. Um, like I said, we have lots of fun ideas and we just can't wait to, to share them with all of y'all. Um, so here is the Kirk Revolution. Now I picked this up, um, restored in this condition, um, from a 
a gentleman in Omaha. Um, and I mean, it's, it's gorgeous. Um, Richie Logic Cranks. M735. Uh, Coda Wheels. Um, I'm not sure which. He told me what uh, cantilevers these are, but now I am blanking. Um, I'm probably going to change these though, because he mentioned it and I noticed it when I ride it. They stick out pretty far, and so you do brush into them when you're pedaling. Um, I love what he did with the cable housing, it just looks great. Um, it has been repainted um, and has the uh, Amp Research Fork. My favorite grips, ESI's. Friction shifter, seven speed, the Richie um, Richie Logic brake levers. Um, so just a a sweet bike, uh, a white flight, which I'll probably change out because I'm I'm not a white saddle or grip or bar type person. They're just so easy to get dirty, and if the rig isn't perfectly clean, they smear and it. it it's just, I'm, I always got greasy hands because I'm always working on something. So I just find it best to, to not have white saddles, grips, etc. Um, so that's the bike. Uh, it's super cool. It's 1990, same year as me, which I always find fun to, I don't know, it's just kind of cool. I think to have a bike that's as old as you. Um, so yeah, we you'll start to see a lot more YouTube videos from us. Follow us on Instagram too. We share a lot of our new inventory on Instagram um, so you can get first uh, crack at it. And uh, like I said, reach out if there's anything any, ever anything you're looking for. And you know, like and sub subscribe to the channel to keep seeing more great uh, vintage bike content. Uh, have a great rest of your night.